Hello, my shafties. Hi, everybody. Welcome to stream. Uh, we are playing Layers of Fear. Um, if you know nothing about this game, uh, it is... Oh, hello there. Hi, Chanubis. Hi, Devil's Deal. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the stream. Um, we are playing Layers of Fear. If you don't know anything about this game, it is a horror game made by, uh, I believe, Bloober Team. The same people that made Observer, which is... I actually prefer Observer to this game. I do really like Observer. Um, however, I have played this game quite a bit. Um, I have some knowledge of this game. Uh, and all of its intricacies. <laughs> I, I've already had the ending spoiled for me and all that fun stuff. Not like to the point where I've seen the ending, but I know what the ending is. I won't spoil it though for those that haven't played it. Um, I also know this game is actually a genuine horror game. We've been playing spoopy games this whole time, games with very little jump scares and the like, but with horror elements tied to it. Like for example, um, we played Doom, which was about going through hell and killing zombies, which is kind of spooky. Uh, we were playing Witchwood, which follows a witch who has to, you know, revive her her uh, friend, like the maiden. Um, and that's kind of spooky because witches and the like, um, I say, being a witch. And then um, we played a description, which has a lot of horror elements. Um, what did we do on Sunday? Oh, Sagebrush, which was about a cult. Um, so yeah, we've, we've played games with horror elements, but nothing that is an actual true-to-life horror game. So that's what we're doing today with Layers of Fear. I don't know how well this will go. My goal is to currently get through to Chapter 3, Undercoat, and get through that one. So I want to get through the prologue, Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3. Uh, I, if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess we're gonna end up actually only getting to st the end of step two, paint. But, like, I'm hoping that we can get through step three, um, but I don't know. Because my goal is to get through half of Layers of Fear today, get through half of Layers of Fear, the other half of Layers of Fear, and Inheritance next week. And then, after that, going into the second Layers of Fear, um... So we could just get all all of it done. I don't know how long the second layers of fear is though, so we will have to see. Um. Oh no, I'm so sorry about the pizza. That's so unfortunate. I hate when that fucking happens. I hate when that happens, especially when you order from like a pizza chain, like a pizzeria, because they have no fucking excuse. They have no excuse at all. Like none. <laughs> All right, so let's get started into this. I'm a little frightened, actually. I'm a little nervous because I know this game has jump scares and I do not. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, new game. Um, and I know that I am not uh, <laughs> super great with jump scares. I'm not like loud or anything. You guys won't see much of anything because when I get a jump scare, I just pass out. <laughs> so we will see how all this goes. <laughs> Here's hoping that I don't actually pass out while playing this game, but if I do, it'll be pretty funny. <laughs> the yellow of the egg? I, why, why do you have an egg on pizza? Egg on pizza? Question mark? I've never heard of egg on pizza. Interesting. Do you? Feel lost, alone. I don't feel lost, alone, and hopeless. Hopeless. Oh. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you yeah? truly desire. Finish it. I don't remember there being voice acting in this part of the game. Every portrait that is painted with ceiling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde. The painting of Dorian Gray. I'm wobbling. I forgot how wonk the camera is in this game. Because, like, you move and it, it kind of makes you dizzy. Look at all these books. Look at this baby. 
I don't know. I think that baby probably deserves what's happening to it right now, being carried away by that that eagle. Bacon, egg, cheese, basically an open faced tomato omelet. <laughs> Just slap the egg on the pizza. Huh? Interesting. Uh, try. It. I'll try it. I'll, I'll. I guess I'll try it. Is that a dog muscle? I see. I can turn it around. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I'm stalling. <laughs> Just closes the door. I don't want to make progress yet. Can I open this door? No. That's the exit, I think. I just walked in from the rain. There's a book here. I kind of want to read it, but I don't think I can. No. All right. Well. All right. Here we are. Um, an artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others compare him to Van Eyck. And one awestruck critic, who wished to remain unnamed, went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway, you slice it, the ex exhibition proved an immense success. Blank's distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown. Interesting. That's unfortunate. Um, secret ending. Just turn around and say F it. I love when games like that. When games do shit like that. Bourbon whiskey. Dude, that looks so good. Wait. <laughs> That's not... Uh, this must be some very old fucking whiskey. That's not how this is supposed to go, guys. That's not right. <laughs> this is incorrect. <laughs> this is incorrect. Dude, are we, are we, uh, wait, Chattanoobus, are we pulling a, uh, how to make Slender not scary? Is that what we're doing here? How to make Slender not scary. Do you guys remember that fucking video? I don't know. I might be the only one. God, that video was kind of funny though. <laughs> <laughs> Slender's not scary, but like that video is funny as hell. Play red light, green light was my favorite. <laughs> I should just like watch that in the server with you all so we can all laugh at the fact that people were scared of fucking Slender back in the day. You know, I've been told by a lot of people, oh, Ramses, you should play FNAF on stream. But there's one problem with that. FNAF is literally just jump scare horror. And I can't play jump scare horror. I can have some jump scares in my horror. But if it gets too much and I don't become insensitized, desensitized to it, I'll just fucking start passing out. And nobody wants that. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see me pass out on stream. Uh, dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. <laughs> All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a pro prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pests Pacification Co. Oh, I see. Um. Been while, uh, dude, bacon's so good. I want to try turkey bacon. I've never had turkey bacon, but I kind of want to try it. Oh, it's a dog collar. Popgill? Is that the name? I can't read that. What? 
want to try to read it. You want to try to read it? I see L O N G D A T E. That's the address, the bottom name. P O P K E L is Pop what I'm. Popkel? Pop Who the fuck names their dog Popkel? Who the fuck names their dog Popkel? Cleaners who hate their wives? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> um. Bongus. <laughs> Whack is bonkus. Anyway, um. <laughs> yeah, what a fucking name. Agreed. Look, we who we demons and stuff, but we we don't have the budget to make props that obey physics. <laughs> Yeah, no, really. That's so weird. It doesn't even take a lot to do that. I don't know why that happened. Oh, this is a dirty fucking kitchen. Why? Who? Who the fuck spilled the wine? Um. Can I open that? OMG. Look at the the cabinets. These are some funky cabinets. Very steampunk of you. The music, just like <laughs> as I'm perusing this fucking kitchen. Anything else? Is there anything else? Anything else? Oh, clay plates. Ew. Who fucking eats off of clay plates? The I don't like clay plates. They're kind of... The texture is bad. Hey, door, you're in my fucking way. Borbs. Oh, those are dried out herbs and peppers and stuff. Interesting. Oh, look, garlic. Who? What? I've never seen anyone just hang stuff up like this i guess to dry but like at the same time i prefer to boil my corn i guess there's like is there a fridge here i guess there wouldn't be i don't know i don't know how far in the past this is i don't know if this is modern day i'm gonna assume it's not modern day i don't remember if a date was ever said Apples. Huh, is that a coffee press? <laughs> that was a bottle of Chateau Backs Backstab 1980. What a loss. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. It is gone. How the, how the fuck do you know that? Wait a minute, how do you know what that is i <laughs> i am in awe <laughs> please tell me this is a reference to something that i don't know about because if you do know like that that is what that is, I am going to be in absolute awe of you. <laughs> Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and sh shoved his head off and snuffed and snuffed his head off snores snored 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 his head off like the rest of us common folk i know gasp in other words get some sleep you big dummy i love you i'm just gonna leave you hanging just to try me into insanity fuck you <laughs> don't worry this game will do it for you this game is literally just a mind trick. That I, I do remember that from playing because I got through to chapter three. Like I personally have made it to the end of chapter three. I haven't made it to chapter four or five or to inheritance, but I've made it to the end of chapter three. So I know for the most part what's going to happen in this beginning area of the game. Uh, but I've, I've tried to play through this game like four separate times. 
Oh, it's so dark. Okay, there we go. Wow, it's a, a pantry. This is a very understocked pantry. Why do you have so much fucking paprika? Who needs this much fucking paprika? Sugar? Paprika? Paprika? Two sugars! Okay, that I understand. Sugar is used in everything. Oregano? Oregano. Why don't you have more oregano and less paprika? One of those paprika jars turned into an oregano jar and it's per- Where's the garlic? No gar- Where are there- I have not seen a single onion in this house. Where is everything? This kitchen is- fucking a mess god damn i am i am i am no this is i this kitchen being as understocked as it is would not meet my autistic specifications no no oregano is great and paprika is overpowering you don't need a lot of paprika on anything paprika <laughs> Paprika's great. Don't get me wrong. I do love me some paprika, unless it's on deviled eggs. If you put paprika on my deviled eggs, I'm throwing you to the street. But... <laughs> if I see paprika on my deviled eggs, you are going to wake up at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> paprika, great. But you don't need a lot of paprika to be happy. <laughs> you don't you don't need that much fucking paprika. Oh, can I run? Wait. Am I moving faster? I can't tell. So I guess I'm not moving that much faster. Oh boy, we're going into the kitchen. Nobody likes the kitchen. Oh my god, the floor is all wet. It doesn't flush? Wait. What? It won't fucking flush? What is this toilet paper? Oh, that's the grossest toilet paper I've ever seen. Oh, and that's the grossest bathtub I've ever- Why does it look like that? What the fuck? No hygiene? Why is this on? Wait, what happens if I turn them both on? Will it overflow? No. Are those supposed to be tooth toothbrushes? Teeth brushes? Okay, that bar of soap is nice though. I do like that bar of soap though. That looks like a honey bar, but are those supposed to be teeth brushes? Huh. Very interesting teeth brush setup. I've never seen teeth brushes like that. <laughs> towels! Mmm, those look like soft fucking towels. Meanwhile, these towels look grungy as hell absolutely disgusting uh achilles prosthetics co oh my goodness strange <laughs> hello hello miss strange hi <laughs> hello Hi Raiders, welcome in! Hi! Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you guys are vibing. <laughs> Spring don't work for me tonight, so I'll take my lovely viewers. Totally valid. Here, let me give you a shout out. And they're playing art. <laughs> What were you trying to do tonight? Now I'm curious. Were you trying to do an art stream tonight? Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Yeah, my internet just fucking died tonight. Can I keep a stable connection? 
Oh, that's so unfortunate. You were trying to write? Oh boy, you may. <laughs> that's not uncommon for you though. I, I swear, every time we talk, there's like another thing about your internet <laughs> that's going down. <laughs> Oh boy, well, at least you, uh, you tried, and that's what matters, and I hope that you're able to get some running done offline then. Um, but yes, welcome in, Raiders, thank you so much for popping in. For those that don't know me, I'm Lord Ramses, your resident pharaoh back from the dead. I am a variety streamer that streams all sorts of content, uh, random shit. Right now I'm playing Layers of Fear, um... And uh, I'm also uh, an LGBTQ advocate, a disability advocate. Uh, I talk about autism things and I talk about witchy and pagan stuff. So if that's something that interests you, feel free to stick around. Uh, I am in all of those communities. So of course I end up talking about them a lot. Um, strange, if you need to go do your self care, go do it. Stinky, you stinky nerd. <laughs> Going offline, but gonna lurk. All right, hell yeah. Um, but yes, welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. I hope you had fun with Strange, even if it was scuffed, but that's okay, because Strange is always scuffed. <laughs> Strange is the definition of scuffed. Um, we are playing Layers of Fear. I mentioned that a little bit ago. Uh, it is a horror game. It has some um, triggering elements, so just be aware. Feel free to use the trigger list command. Uh, exclamation mark trigger list uh, to get a full comprehensive list of all the things that you can expect to run into that might be triggering to some viewers. Um, I don't want anybody to have an, any like sort of episode or anything like that because of the contents of this game. So feel free to use that. Also a warning as seen in the pinned message. There are some jump scares in this game. I haven't run into many of them. They're kind of like self-inflicted for the most part. Um, I've played this game up until the halfway point, <clears throat> and unless the second half ramps up in severity, I haven't run into much in the way of jump scares. I mean, I know that they can happen. I know you can die in like every chapter, but like, I don't know. We'll 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 see. We'll we'll get through it together. Uh, it'll be a good time. So yes, welcome in everybody. Welcome in. Uh, what else? I'm not scuffed. I'm sexy. Hey, you could be both. They're not mutually exclusive. Oh, what did it say? Oh yeah, one below knee prosthesis. Um, what does that fucking say? How the hell did they fuck up the link? <laughs> oh boy. He, he He's hobbling along. I was just talking about how paprika, they, this guy has too much paprika in his kitchen. And he doesn't need that much paprika. Because <laughs> he has like six jars of paprika in his fucking kitchen. He had, like, double the amount of sugar, which makes sense, but, like, paprika? Come on now, buddy. You don't need that much. Where are you putting it? Oh, wait. Did I go in here? More towels. What is that? Rat poison. Effective when used as a bait poison. Water poison. Tracking poison. Active ingredients. alpha nafethyl theoria. Inert ingredients. Ditomachus sartig? Start? Color pigment, color pigment, water, beta naphthil theoria, 80%. Interesting. Rat poison. <laughs> I was crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once they locked me in a room. A room full of those rats. The rats made me crazy. That's the vibe I get here. Oh. These, these are metals. What's in this drawer? Oh, that's close. Why is there clothing in there? That that drawer is locked, bitch. How about in here? That's a hairbrush. Oh, a note. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. I promise. Talk later. I see. He's a bastard, then. Oh, God. Open. Thank you. Nothing in there but towels, I think. These paintbrushes, these are some ill-taken-care-of paintbrushes. I don't like them. They're, they're kind of gross. What is that? God, it's so fucking dark in here. Oh, look, there's a little cabinet under the stairs. How about that? 
You can be like Harry Potter. I don't support JK Rowling. But I will make Harry Potter jokes. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness! Can I set them off? <gasps> <laughs> There's a rat hole. Why are there so many traps right outside of this hole? That's a big hole. Anyway. That's what she said. Anyway. Um, don't mind me. I'm just being stupid and, and, and on mean. What's this? Uh, little Vinny and Partners. Got a rat problem? Call us now and forget about it. Fast, efficient, and discreet. Five 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 three eight two five. And if you could just figure out the extent, the uh, the area number, then your problems will be solved. Can you basement? What do you mean? Can I? I don't think I think the basement's locked. But I'm going through all the 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 doors right now to check. But I'm pretty sure the basement's locked in this beginning area. But as for shelf, I don't know about it. What? I don't know about shelf. I haven't seen shelf. He traps. What do you mean he traps? Yeah, I see. Sh on either, I know he puts traps on either shelf for some fucking reason. Weirdo, I can't pick him up. If that's what you want me to do, I can't investigate the traps. I'm sorry. The the the, the hand doesn't show up. I'm sorry. There is no hand on 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 here. I don't know. Do I want to go down there? Well, that's locked. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mo uh, mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. It's dark in here. It's not dark in here anymore. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> why the puffer fish? <laughs> oh, they put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room full of rats. The rats drove me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy, runts. He stuck me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Report card! Dude! Whoever this- Oh my god. Whoever has this as their report card? Bitch. Bitch. You are- The fuck? <laughs> Yeah, what is this? What is this report card? This is trash. <laughs> you did make me laugh, Daydream. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're playing Layers of Fear. You also startled me. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect. Hydrate. Okay, hydrate. And stretch. All right. Hydrated. Stretched. Oh, big stretch. Eat salt. Bet. Salt has been eaten. All right, let's see. Grading period. Reading. C, D, F, C. That's so bad. <laughs> Reading is so easy. <laughs> Written communication. I'm guessing that's a... Uh, uh, literary arts, like writing class. D, B, C, D. That's also bad. Writing is easy as hell. Mathematics. Okay, this one I understand. F, D, F, C. That one I get. I get that one. Science and health, CDCF, oh fuck. Um, social studies, DCFD, okay, that I understand. That's pretty much history. Uh, art, AABA, -A -A. good job, but I'd be even more concerned if you failed fucking art. How the fuck do you fail art? Music, BABA, -A. baba. -ba. <laughs> Physical education, excuse from class, fair enough. Um, DDDC, damn. Attendance, uh, you oh shit fuck okay
I, seven years old? God. Get ready for your job at McDonald's. I don't know what to tell you. Um... Glasses? Oh, these glasses are broken. Also, the frames are dented. That's upsetting as a glasses wearer. That is very upsetting. Gotta take care of the Ramses. Hell yeah. Yeah, you gotta... It, yeah, I am just a small boy, boy. It's so dark, I can't see shit. Who will what this? Oh, there, there's a traditionally bound books. That we nice. Why is it so dark? Uh, you little bitch! Did you see that? No rats, my fucking ass. What was that then? I don't like these baby dolls. This isn't very good. Now is it? Mm -mm, I don't think it is. Is that a sink? Is that what that's supposed to be? Is that a... What if I turn it on? I can't tell if it's spewing water or not. I'm worried about that door. I don't- I, I haven't come down here before. Uh, I don't know why he owns so many- I've never failed art class, actually. I passed art class, don't worry about it. Um... I think of uh, the I think of attendance is bad. It might be because of that. I yeah, probably. What is attendance? Attendance is bad. <laughs> you failed art. Yippee! God, that's so sad. I am so sorry for you, Daydream. Yippee! What do you mean, yippee? Why'd you? How'd you fail art? <laughs> How did you fail art? <laughs> That door's locked. How the fuck did you- how- Yeah, was your teacher a dick or something? Like, did you just not do the assignments? <laughs> how did you fail art? Like, cause the only thing I can think of for failing art- So- <laughs> Sounds like a skill that you- Yeah, it is! Like, you have to be trying to fail art, I feel like. You either have to be neglectful of doing your work due to lag. Oh, God. You have to either be- The PlayStation does not like this game, I'm finding out. Um, you have to be- You either have to be neglectful of what you're doing, or... You, you have to try. What are- What is this painting? God, who the fuck? What? What is that? Yo, who the fuck painted that? Oh, the sun. Eh. Oh God, the sun's the sun's reflecting into my eyes, and it hurts like a bitch. What the hell? What is that? <laughs> These paintings are terrible. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What is going on here? There's only one painting that I like out of this, and that's this one. And this is a really nice painting. Uh, but the rest are- I'm like, what the hell? Who the hell? <laughs> God, the lag! There were lights. I know what's about to happen here. There it is! 
<laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Um, that jump scare is cheap. <laughs> Make them dogs. Got some dogs. I struggle a lot with doing assignments and turning them in. Ah, okay. I struggle with making decisions and overthinking things, so either my assignments don't get done or I don't turn them in. That's fair. Meanwhile, I half-assed art. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be very transparent. I just half-assed it. Which door do I go in? Can the light stop? Oh my god, it is, it is, I am being tortured. Help. <laughs> um, I could go into that room. I could go into that room. I could go down this hallway. Into the bloody room. <laughs> Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Oh, it's a pyramid. There's a pyramid. I don't like this. This is this. This is unfortunate. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their excuse me, fighting for their lives. The long awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been seriously injured. The owner of the Galactic of the Galactic, Galactic Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. This is what happens when you're cheap. Okay. A miroir. Can I take the miroir? No. There's a broken mirror there. Who the fuck puts this above their bed? Who the- Okay, this guy has problems. Is that liquor underneath- God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. A cane? You could bludgeon someone over the head with this thing. You should take the cane. It might help you to move. Okay. Is it gonna let me open the other door? Or like... Is this not... Uh, uh, oh. Okay. Can I close it again? Or like... Yes. Nice. God, why are these doors the pain in the ass to open? Like... Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay, that one got me. <laughs> okay. I did not expect the tumble... The tumble. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like for you guys. <laughs> I just saw what that looked like. That was really funny. <laughs> Incredible. Outstanding. <laughs> How I shied away from the screen. <laughs> um, Where to? I don't want to go there. I feel like that's plot advancement. I know this hall is plot advancement. I know for that for a fact. Is there a light switch? There is. Hell yeah. See, it's less scary when you turn on the lights. Who the- Okay, what is this guy's paint? Like, 
if you're gonna pick art pieces, let them be pretty. Oh my fuck. These art pieces are trash. And I'm not saying like, oh, they're they're bad. Nobody can like these art pieces. What I am saying, here's what I am saying. There's a time and place for every single time to run away to pack stuff. Because I'm moving. Ramsey said I love you. <laughs> Take care, Daydream. Have a good one. Good luck packing. Feel free to listen in or do whatever you got to do. Feel free to pop back in whenever. I'll probably be freaking out. True story behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure that was fiction. I am 99.9% sure the picture of Dorian Gray, the painting of Dorian Gray, was completely fictional. Like, just completely and utterly fictional. Like, I am 99.9% .9 sure. Eh. Oh. That's glass. Rock. Rock. Glass. Glass. Rock. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this and I already regret agreeing to payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whisper Tail Publishing House. Okay, but like... Have you seen some of the art used in children's book? It's fucking terrifying. What are you talking about? Like, that's not bad. That, that, that fits a children's book. That does too. That not so much. <laughs> that doesn't. <laughs> Everything before it, though, is fine. Uh... Yeah, no, that one, if you just took the blood away, it would make more sense. That, yeah. That doesn't. That doesn't track. Well, at least the art looks good. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. It's a phone. Hello. I have a key. I don't know where the key goes, though. All right, time to check the kitty room. Huh? What was that sound? I didn't see it. <laughs> That's locked. Okay, well, now it's time for the kids' room. Why did I agree to play this game? Why did I agree to play this game? Why did I do that? Why did I agree to this? Why am I doing this? Why? Why? Tell me why it's nothing but a mistake. <laughs> why did that fit so well for my current? Oh my gosh, they're ABC blocks. <gasps> my favorite. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. What a little artist. How did you not fail art school? Keep poor Okay. This is not how I remember this room looking. At all. Also, that poor painting of the dog, it's all like cracked. It is not like varnished or anything. That poor dog. I want a dog. I want a puppy. I want a, I want a dog. I want a small little dog. I want a little doggo. Is that a, that's just the same brush. Oh my goodness, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a rattle. I bet it, <laughs> I bet it also has lead paint on it. <laughs> that looks like lead paint. 
That is fucking horrifying. Who gives that to their goddamn child? Who the fuck gives that to their child? You are a horrible father. <laughs> is this supposed to do something? I feel like it's supposed to do something. I feel like that, that was supposed to do something, but I don't know what it was. Oh well. Um. So how y'all doing? We're almost done the prologue. This door I'm pretty sure is locked. Yeah. All right, time to go open the room because I hate my life. And here's where the game starts. Get it right this time. This is where things go to hell, everybody. You ready to watch things go to hell? I'm not. <laughs> I am not mentally prepared for this. Oh, see, you can see how I got some of the pictures. Don't mind it. I got some of them. I'll see if I can get the rest of them, but I don't think I can. But you can see I got some of them. Proof that I, I did in fact play this game before. Oh, and that's a really sad paintbrush. Oh, I love that. That is so nice. I have to pee. I might I might ha I might use the restroom real quick. Um yeah, look, see proof that I've I've played through this game a bit. Um Beatles. These Beatles. More Beatles. And then these are all locked. Yeah, because we haven't we haven't gone through them. Um, what's in here? Paint brushes. Oh my gosh, why do you have so many? Why are there so many? You don't need that many. Alright. Well it's time. Wow, there is nothing here. How about that? All right, so that was prologue. Um, there you go. You now have seen prologue, and I have to use the restroom. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go do that and take a quick like five minute break to go use the restroom. Um, there will be a lot of breaks during the stream just because it has more jump scary elements and jump scares. Uh make me dizzy um so i'll be back in about five minutes i'm just gonna go use the restroom and i'll switch over to brb so you guys can listen to some music i'll see you guys in just a little bit okay
and we are back hello everybody i really had to use the bathroom i had coffee and it went right through me my body went mm -mm 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 -mm. it's time it's time get in the fucking restroom <laughs> so here i am once again feeling lost but now and then oh this isn't the same that's it's dark in here I don't like the music. I don't see anything in here, though. So. I don't like that you guys can't hear it. Let me just, uh... That's not what I want. I want audio properties. Advanced audio properties. There, now you guys get to hear it too. Um. Oh, that window's open. And then there's an ad. <laughs> Just out of reach. There's nothing in there. Feel like when I get close, this window's gonna slam shut. Yep. Knew that one was coming. See, you can't get me, game. I know all your tricks. All your tricks. The silly pop dog. I love the silly pop dogs. The silly pop pop dogs are amazing. How is it that this lightest is on? Yeah, I still can't fucking see anything. Don't worry. Ooh, this light is on my leg, and it's the sunlight has stopped reflecting into my eyes, and is now shining on my leg. And now my leg is warm, and I feel comfortable. Reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth: nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. Excuse me. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. Uh, this does not make them any less special. Just take some work, and we're here to help. Why is my bottle of water lopsided? Anyway. Um, we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities. Where there's a problem, there's always a solution. Interesting. What's in here? Nothing. I feel like I've looked in there already. Okay, well. Time to move on. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is very different. Huh. I, I don't like how unsteady that looks. I feel like that's gonna fall. I'm trying. Do you see? I'm trying to predict the jump scares because I, I this is so predictable. You know, I'm gonna go under it and it's gonna drop. Huh? I guess not. Going in circles. Hmm. So it's going to loop again. Yeah. Oh no. I'm in a different room this time. I guess I found the thing I was supposed to find. Is there a light switch in here? I am so blind. Can I like turn up? Wait. I 
I know that it should be this, but like I can't see fucking shit. I am so blind. Oh, but that's too bright now. God. Fucking hell. Alright, no. Okay, we'll just leave it as it was. I'm just gonna, you know what? We're just gonna. There. So that's, that's, that's apparently how I'm supposed to see this world. But I can't see anything. Oh no. Oh no. Everything's so dark. Oh. Oh, that hurt my ears. Ow. <laughs> I was so high pitched. And for what? <laughs> Why was that so high pitched? It felt like a dog whistle. Ow. Oh, hello. Save the date of blank and blank. Oh, it's a marriage thing. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June, at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, well, that's cute, at least. Shame they don't love each other. <laughs> Is that too on the nose? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright. I feel like I should be able to pick that paper up, but I can't. Um. What do you think this guy must be thinking? You know? It's so dark and foreboding. Five, four, eight. Five. Four. Eight. Hell yeah, look at the at. The past holds back. Look closer. Mm. Will you marry me? I see, I see. Oh, never forget. But I already forgot. Oh, there we go. Hey, yo! Stop that. Stop that. You don't need to be doing that. There's no reason. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, well, I mean, if you're just gonna rock there, then that's okay, I think. I think that should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, we good? We good? We, we on the same level? Can you turn up? I can't! I can't. <laughs> I'm so blind. This looks like silhouettes. You've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time. You are not allowed in that room, even if the door happens to be open. I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time you'll have to look for a new job. Oh, oof. You're threatening hired help now? Damn. All right. I see how it is. Hey. Yeah, okay. That's fine by me. Is that an egg? What is that? What even- What is that? <laughs> also, this poor chair. It's seen so much shit. Dry fruit? You think it's dry fruit? Looks like a potato. <laughs> Does it not look like a potato? Look at that. It looks like a russet potato. 
Oh. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't like that deer head. I remember this room. Globe. Wee. Anyway. There's a baby doll. And nobody likes that. I don't like you. Here, can I turn on this light? Is there... Is there a light switch? If there is, I can't fucking see it. <laughs> I just can't see anything on it. <laughs> Can I? Okay, okay. There. Now you guys can at least see something. This doesn't help me, but at least it helps you all. Maybe I can play from this tiny screen. I <laughs> Because I can see it on my computer. I can't see it on my laptop. Uh, I can see it from my laptop. Like from OBS, I can totally see what's going on. I can see everything that's happening. But when I look up to my television, I can't see fucking shit. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want you to. No, 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 no. I'll bite you. Stop it. Yeah, because it's only with this game. I don't want to have to change it back. I don't like you. There's nothing over here. Except you. Fall over. I'm gonna kind of skirt around the baby doll because I want to go in here first. Is there anything in here? I don't see anything. This this drawer seems surprisingly vacant. Oh fuck. <laughs> well. I guess we're down here now, and I, I can't see even more. Fuck. Uh. So about this room. I can't see shit. I couldn't even be scared if I wanted to be scared. Like, there's no way I can see anything in here. Is there a light switch? Like... What is happening? I am... Uh, oh, and I can't even see it on my computer screen. Fucking hell, wait. No, I can't... I can't... There's, no. <laughs> Damn. Um... Can I... Is this better? No! This only made the colors lighter, which makes me annoyed. I can't see anything. What if I turn it all the way up? No, because it just adds a white film. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. I can't. Okay. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um. Huh? Where am I? What is going on? I am a little. I'm a little lost. I'm a bit- oh! Light switch! Oh! 
Oh! Whoa, what is... Ah! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What happened there? <sighs> I feel like I was too close for that, you know? The flash was what scared me. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Boom. I still can't see shit. Oh, the baby is now up, uh, stabbed. Um, now what? Now what do I do? I just like leave? Like. Oh, I guess so. Huh? Do you see that? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen! <laughs> the only one seeing this <laughs> can you see it on the replay oh my god you can <laughs> for those that aren't noticing it it's the painting is glitching into the wall <laughs> okay so this game's on spaghetti code got it got it got it got it are these all like oh they're paintings overlaid on top of each other okay i see Oh. Aren't y'all beautiful? Oh! Paint deep lies. Wait. Now, oh. Now a tiny bit of I'm not that round. <laughs> That's unfortunate, the back that just says, I'm not that round. I don't think you're round. Well, moving on. I think I got hung up on something there. Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> uh, hello, Jay! Uh, we've gotten... We're, we're working on the first one right now. Turn full Mickey Mouse for a moment? Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Why is that doing the the wrong the wrong thing? I set it up. Okay, well I guess I'll have to fix that then. But the Foxo yes, is hello. Very tired. He is tired. Eepy. He's eepy. The Foxo the has Foxo had a very long day of swiping uh, uh, eggies uh, uh, and wants to take just uh, uh, a small uh, uh, sleep. 
He e b and e b and e b to sleepy. Funk sleepy and need bed by time. And need bed by time. The fops is currently experiencing critical levels of being asleep. I, people haven't been claiming. People didn't claim he today. He's tired and needs to sleep. To sleep. Just a little sleepy time, time is a treat. Funk yonksy needs Funks to sleep. Funk yonksy needs to sleep. For tired boy, just a little guy. Just a little guy. Foxo oxo 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 needs his beady sleep. Look at him go. Look at him go. He on big because he's sleepy. He on big because he's sleepy. He needs to falafel asleep. Night night time. Night night time. Good night, Mr. Good night, Mr. The Fox. Anyways, um. <laughs> like an ice cake. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I did turn full Mickey Mouse there. I did, in fact. Um, I don't know how you're second to an hour in. I <laughs> I have no clue. But I did, in fact, become full Mickey Mouse for a moment there. Because I know what this room is. Mm. There's going to be a rat jump scare. In a bit. I know I'm spoiling it, but I'm letting you all know there's gonna be a, a rat jump scare in a second. God, are all the paintings gonna like clip into the wall? Cause I swear to like look at it. It's all of them are doing it. <laughs> what is happening? Oh no. Oh no. I feel bad that I'm playing this game when it's being so buggy. Cause I feel like it's a bad look for the developers, but like at the same time, it's kind of funny. But it defeats the whole purpose because I know that's not how it's supposed to look. Cause I played this game like shortly after launch and it didn't, it didn't do this. <laughs> oh boy. All right. You ready for the, you ready for the jump scare? You ready, guys? Oh. I guess not. Um. Do I gotta do something? Like... Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Can I interact with this light? No. What am I supposed to do here? I am a bit lost. Oh! I heard you, bitch! I heard you, little mouse bastard. Oh, this guy's seen better days. Maybe I have to... Oh, there it goes. Huh? Oh, the chair that clipped through me. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, look, now they look like they're hanging. Would you look at that? Wow, so scary. Um, They've been zalgified. If you don't know what a zalgification is, uh, that's what this type of horror is. This is zalgification. Alright, well, we got the jump scare from this room. Wait, haven't I been here already? I feel like I've been in this room already. I wish I could see, but I cannot! <laughs> I am so blind. So blind. Is there anything in here? No. Alright, well, it was worth a shot. <gasps> Rifling through every drawer. Oh, paper. Um, 
Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby, hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch and she'd just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now I know I promise not to rush you and by all means enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the yin yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot, but of course the family comes first. All right, um, I don't see much here. Am I just supposed to like walk out? Like just kind of, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, so yeah, this is the, okay. So we're doing the crying room. Do I go in? Do you guys want me to go in? You guys want me to go in and comfort the crying wife? She might kill me. Thoughts, feelings, chat? Yippee! Chatnubis, I saw you do that. You did not jump scare me that time. I will drown you in a lake. Anyway, um, you didn't answer my fucking question, you bastard. Do you want me to go in the door or not? <laughs> Why are you yipping at the wife crying? This is very tone deaf of you. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> That's not very nice of you. Fuck her. Why? <laughs> oh, well, I can't. It's locked. Guess not. <laughs> Guess I'm not allowed to. Well, it's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean... I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. That's ominous. Can I go in now? No, it's still locked. All right, which way do I go? This way? Okay. So here's a choice. Do I go baby or do I go wife? Wow, never mind. Fuck her again. Which, which way do you want me to go? Do you guys want me to align with the baby or align with the wife? Because that, that's the, the baby. You want me to align baby? Baby? Okay, baby. I agree, actually. I believe that, like... A child should come first like well, even if you're married right and that's the love of your life if you have a child you can sacrifice the 18 years that it takes to prioritize the child over the the partner you know what i mean i'm down here again god fucking damn it oh wait the fucking paprika that's the scariest part of this game is how much paprika this man has <laughs> Fuck everything else. Fuck the jump scares. The paprika is the scariest part here. <laughs> Paprika's good. And he is sad. Paprika is good, but you don't need like 20 bottles of paprika scattered throughout your house. You just don't need that much fucking paprika. And he's probably putting them on his deviled eggs, which makes it worse. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so here's a fun fact. He doesn't even own it. <laughs> right. Here's a fun fact. I can't see. <laughs> I am unable right now to to see. Um, people are in again. I mean, you're right. Yeah, I didn't see a fridge. I can't say. Oh, hello. First step is the hardest. Oh no! Not the goddamn fucking kitchen! Why am I in here again? No! Well, now I'm pissed. <laughs> Can, I feel like I should be able to pick that up. Why am I in here? What does this have to do with the child? This is some bullshit. I don't want to see this fucking plain ass kitchen. This plain ass kitchen where it's clear that nobody knows what fucking food tastes like because clearly they don't know how to cook it they only have paprika oregano and sugar for spices i'm sorry that's like just shy of just having like salt there's not even salt and pepper what the fuck i'm so mad <laughs> this is a culinary disaster everything about this man's life is a fucking disaster but this one's unexcusable you could at least have a good goddamn meal salt in this economy <laughs> god damn it uh, huh did you all see that where'd them come from where did they come from? Where them come from? Where they come from? <laughs> no. 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 There's nothing here. Oh my god. Your kitchen is fucking pathetic. I don't even know what that is, but it looks fucking disgusting. God, why is this man so sad? Look at all this great food you have hanging here, and you got nothing to fucking season it with. <laughs> Whoa. Um... So, I have been threatened. What do I do about this? I can tell the music is very loud. It's quieter for me because I have it turned down, but eat the knife. <laughs> yes, I could just eat the knife it's dark um it's oddly quiet can you stop that? Ah! Oh. That's a lot of fucking fruit. First, 
excitement for a canvas. Oh. Not just any canvas. Oh. I had to find a knife. Not one of those red. Oh, no. Need to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor. Oh, no. Carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Why would you do that? Was that necessary? My God, was that? Now I can't see. Was that necessary? No, he lost his leg in the fire, remember? Oh, here we are. Shapeless dreams. Yeah. They look like flamingos. That's disgusting. Who the fuck? I don't like that. That's that's unfortunate. That makes me uncomfortable. Okay. So, yeah, I do, but like it's never super explicitly said if I remember correct. No, he he lost it in the fire. That is said in like chapter three. Alright, but we are now just shy of two hours in. And I said I'm gonna be taking a break in between each chapter. Um so we are going into chapter two. So we've got like two more chapters left. So I'm going to take my 20 minute break here and then I'll take a five minute break in between chapters two and three. Um, and then after chapter three, we'll cut it. So I'm going to go get something to eat and something to drink uh, just because I don't want to risk, again, passing out during playing this um, because adrenaline makes me do that. So uh, thankfully, I'm actually feeling pretty calm. I feel like I could go for another chapter with no incident, but I don't want to risk that because yeah i don't want to risk that period because i know my heart rate's a little elevated so we're gonna be back in a little bit so go get something to eat go get something to drink and i'll see you guys back here in about 10 to 20 minutes
Foxo is very tired. He is EP. The Foxo has had a very long day of swiping eggies and wants to take just a small sleep. He EB and Nebies to sleepy. Funk sleepy and need bed by time. The Fox is currently experiencing critical levels of being a sleepy little guy and needs to go to bed. He is very tired and needs to sleep. Just a little sleeping time is a treat. Funk Yomsi needs to sleep for tired boyo. Just a little guy. Foxo Oxo Oms needs his beady sleep. Look at him go. He yawn big because he's skeegee. Needs to falafel a sleepy. Nine eye time. Good night, Mr.
And we are back. Hello, my shopties. I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys had a good break. I had a good break. Um, I do have a migraine, though, still, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But I am back. Uh, we are going to continue playing Layers of Fear. We are moving on to uh, Chapter 2. Oh. <clears throat> Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? A lot. Shapeless dreams. Ah, uh, yes. We're coming back to the age-old problem of I can't fucking see shit. Okay. Um, Our goal is to get these three filled, and then these three filled next week. But I don't know if we will. Uh, hate, even now. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Let's see fruit okay and that's the book filled with all the imagery shapeless dreams all right so here we are again in this fucking hallway um into this room oh yay we're going in the elevator! Yay! How many of you hate elevators? I fucking hate elevators. Um. Oh my goodness, is that hot chocolate? Oh my gosh! It looks so yummy! Okay. Light switch on or off? Um. The door wasn't. <laughs> the door wasn't closed all the way. Unfortunate. Okay. Oh. That's not great. Why is there an elevator in this house? Why is there an elevator in this house? Can you imagine having an elevator in your house? Can you imagine what that must be like? How cool that would be. Locked. Nothing. Oh my gosh, it's the most prettiest thing in this house. Because to be quite frank, all of the painting is paintings are trash. How about here? Can I open this door? Locked. This door? Locked. Why are they even here? A candle? Nothing. Locked. God. God damn it. And I turn around. Time to go through all the rooms again. Locked. Locked. <laughs> Nothing in there. Oh. Do you see that face? Am I the only one that sees that face? I don't like that face. That face makes me uncomfortable. Oh, it's that guy! Oh, 
it's the big guy. Oh, I know what painting that is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand. Do I want to go in the room? I guess I have no choice. Fuck this chair. All right. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this manner. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion. I can certainly understand your disappointment. But I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will, will emul em ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than con competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife. Unfortunate. Well, at least he tried. The chair's not there anymore. No, it is. I can see it. What are you- Sick him! Sick him! What are you doing? What you doing? Now where am I? Oh. <clears throat> the vase is gone! Oh, now I'm upset. But this is not where the store was before. I'm pretty sure this is a different hallway. Oh, I can open this door now. Hmm. Huh. Oh, it. Why did you stop? Honey. Oh, hello! Welcome in, everybody! Hi! Welcome in, Devil's Deal! How are you? You were here earlier. playing Warhammer. Fun! How are you all, everybody? Hello! Hello, welcome in! Welcome in! Welcome in, Raiders. Hope you guys are doing well. We're, we're still playing Layers of Fear. I was. How can you tell? It's right there. It says Warhum Warhammer. How fun. I hope you were having a good time. How did stream go? Did you have a good time? Did you, did you enjoy yourselves? I hope you did. Feel free to tell me all about it. We're still playing Layers of Fear. Um, we're about... Uh, we're on the second chapter right now. We're gonna jam out for a minute. Nope. 
I hear a cat scratching a door. Uh, I heard a phone fall. I'm hearing a lot of noises in the background. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. I am Lord Ramsey's your resident pharaoh back from the dead. I'm a variety streamer that streams all sorts of random shit. And we are in the middle of Ghastly Gala and are playing Layers of Fear. And I am definitely paranoid because there have been a couple jump scares so far. Um, but not many. So we will see. But I know these upcoming chapters get really bad. So I'm a little nervous for my health. So we will have to see. Got one of the messiest fights with a boss in a long while because the team was all over the place. But hey, we did it. Hey, yo, good job. I'm so proud of you. That sounds wonderful. I hope I hope you had a great time. That sounds that sounds absolutely lovely. Um, but yeah, we are we are continuing this game. Oh. Fun. Just gonna. Close that up. All right. I don't know what to expect from this game right now. That's luck. And there's the elevator. Nothing in there. But no, I'm glad you had a fun time. All right, that goes up. And that's a coat closet. And there's nothing in this coat closet. And that's locked. Okay. So it looks like we're going up to an attic. I don't know why attics feel creepy. Um, I think you got to have a fun time with the chainsword psychic lightning. <laughs> you know what? That's a fair assessment. Oh, there's a fire up here. Punch him in the face. At right? But no, I'm glad you- I'm so happy you had a good time. That makes me happy. I'm just slowly sliding down this sta these stairs. Why am I just, like, sliding down these stairs? What? I- I am just- Wait, can we just talk about that? Like, look. I am just slowly sliding down these stairs. Why am I slowly- Why am I sliding? Why is this happening? Why am I slowly sliding down? I don't. I don't slide up and down the stairs. Thank you very much. <laughs> I feel like there's somebody. Oh, there is somebody standing behind me. Whoopsie. I was like, somebody is standing behind me. Oh, it's dark. Why is it dark all of a sudden? Uh, can I get up? Huh. There's a fire here. I feel like if I step over these boards, I will fall. Do you have any proof of that? No, I do not. But I can tell you for a fact that I don't slip and slide up the stairs. I wish I could slip up the stairs. I might, I might, like, slide down the stairs as in, like, sit down on the stairs and go down them like that. But, like, I don't... I'm not able to levitate up the stairs. I can't pull a, a new valet, unfortunately. I wish I could. That'd be pretty pleasant if I could. But, excuse me. I'm burping a lot. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't see anything over there. Hmm. 
You don't slide down them. You bounce down them on your ass like kids do. Exactly, because I risk falling down the stairs every time. I go down them. But there's not a lot of stairs in my home, thankfully. Thankfully, my home is pretty much one flat plane. Ooh, there's a photo there. I want you. But how... That also looks like something I can grab right there. But I don't want to risk. So. Um, what do we all think about this Inferno here? I, I, I feel like it's it's a pretty, uh, pretty in-depth messaging, huh? Very deep. So this game's pretty fucked up. Um, cooking pizza, that's what I think of it. Mmm, pizza. I want pizza! <laughs> I'm hungry. I, after seeing all the- Oh, speaking of which, you know what I had for break? Because we just got off break. I had grilled cheese. But not just any grilled cheese. Grilled cheese on hamburger rolls. That's the saddest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> But it tasted good! It was sad, but it tasted nice. Oh, fuck! What are you? That was cheap! You cheap motherfucker! No, I didn't, thankfully. What a cheap fucking jump scare. How rude. I am offended. You're missing out. What? I kind of, I kind of don't. That reminds me of that, that food theory episode. Where they just used kitchen to, utensils to cook food. Oh, you can die here. You can die in this room. I don't know how, though. Um. How do you avoid death in this room? Should be over here that you can die. Or one of these two pathways, you can die. But I don't remember... How? How hard would I need to punch a chicken to cook it? That's another, that's another video that Food Theory did. Fun fact. Okay. Warning signs. Did you see how that bugged out for a second there? Oh my god. <laughs> Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically- oh no. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well, and younger. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia, and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist or psychiatrist. Or a psychotherapist. Psychotherapist can, in fact, spot the condition. Um, like expression stares off into space. Yes. Involuntary facial movements. Yes. Are those signs of schizophrenia? Really? Well, I mean, I knew the stare off into space. That's dis disassociation, if I remember correctly. But the involuntary facial movement? That's a sign of schizophrenia? Insomnia. Haven't noticed. Yes. <laughs> yes. Unusual gestures or postures. Always had that. 
Unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely. This is outdated. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? Oh, it's... I know what depersonalization is. For those that don't know what depersonalization is, it's a feeling of disconnect from your body. You know who you are. You have no doubt about your identity. But you feel disconnected from your body, almost as if you are a ghost simply inhabiting a shell. Um, it's different from... Um... What's it called? Uh... Like, don't get it confused with, um, dysphoria. Because it's not the same. Dysphoria is the feeling of something not being what it should be. Whereas, depersonalization is there's no sense of things shouldn't be as they are. It's more of a sense of, like, you are not who you are. Like, it's like, you are not, uh, associated with yourself anymore. And you don't have any concept of what you should be. So, like, somebody who's trans, that is uh, dysphoria. Whereas somebody who is uh, prone to disassociative episodes where they feel kind of, like, separated from their body. And they're watching the world on a, kind of like a screen. That is uh, depersonalization and derealization. Because derealization is the same thing, but instead of it just being yourself and your body, it's the entirety of your fucking reality. Um, so yeah, just a heads up. It is a lot of complicated words. I like talking about mental health sometimes. So there you go. This is the perfect time to talk about that. Me? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Depersonalization and derealization are bitches. And uh, it's guaranteed that you've definitely experienced disassociation once in your life. Everybody does it. As well as uh, derealization and depersonalization, almost everybody has experienced it to some degree. However, it usually only happens in most people when they're extremely exhausted or stressed out. Whereas for people with like disassociative disorders, it's like common. It doesn't even need a trigger usually. So it's kind of unfortunate. Um, awkward, clumsy movement might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment, more passive aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies. <laughs> He's like, <"Huh?" laughs> yeah, suicidal tendencies are very common with schizophrenia. Um, oftentimes they feel threatened into, into hurting themselves, which is unfortunate. Um, also, not, I believe not everybody with schizophrenia uh, experiences severe hallucinations, so do get yourself checked. I am the type of person that's like, oh, please go seek therapy for anything. And additionally, please go seek a mental evaluation. I think that a mental evaluation is, oh, you little bitch! A mental evaluation should be as uh, common as physicals. So please go have a mental evaluation. If Even if you think nothing is wrong, it's better than uh, thinking that everything is normal and then not catching something before it becomes a big problem. Um, see, hearing something different than usual, nonsense and outdated economic facts from my courses for once. How nice. What's in here? Nothing. Why do they give me the option to rifle through these drawers when there's nothing here? I feel like this game is loud right now. And for what? Why is it so loud? Like it's showing up on my uh, OBS is very, very loud. Oh, God, not this fucking room again. God damn it. Can I have a different room, please? I'm not having fun. I'm not enjoying this game very much. Um, who knows? You may miss a secret. Those cabinets could contain some important stuff, you know? If you don't open them, you never will. I know, right? But, like, the thing about this game is that... 
a lot of times you'll end up be you'll end up rifling this has happened a couple times to me while playing this you'll end up rifling through cabinets and like you'll hear a noise and it's like oh what was that noise and then you turn around and the jump scare is already gone so it's like what's the fucking point it's a bit of an unfortunate situation There's nothing in there! Oh my god. Just a bunch of metals. You know, fun- okay, here's a fun fact. A lot of people claim this painting is Saturn eating, eating his son. That's actually not the painting. At all. <laughs> I- we still don't know why people think it's Saturn eating his son, but that's actually one, not the name of the painting. Uh, two, not the uh, meaning behind the painting. Fun fact, that's not what that is. So if you ever hear somebody saying, oh, that's Saturn eating his son, they are incorrect. That is not, in fact, Saturn eating his son. <clears throat> I don't like how that deer is looking at me. I also don't like all the banging going around behind me. Hmm. There is nothing here. Although there's a light over there now. I don't remember that light being there. Do you? Um. So other people are trying to explain my art to me, so I'll never see. Yeah, I, I mean, I like modern art, but I, I also like classic art. Like, I like both. I think both have their merits. That shadow is glitched the fuck out. What the hell? Do you see that shadow? That is not normal. That is not how shadows look. God, this game is so buggy. <laughs> <laughs> This game has so many graphical errors. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I almost choked. What was that? Something happened. Oh. Huh. How about that? God, it's happening again. <laughs> right? The paintings are glitching into the wall again. There's a clock over there. Alright, that door is locked. Oh, hi, Pandora. Nobody.
everybody likes flashing lights. I might have to call it after this one, because after that last one, that got me good. Oh, my chest hurts. <laughs> Throw us. <laughs> this painting is judging me. <laughs> oh, you little whore. You tried to, and then it failed. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'll be looking at something else, and then... Oh, the varnish is cracked. Oh, that poor painting. No. No. See, this is what I'm talking about. There is nothing in these these drawers here. Oh, but that looks important. God, if I had a nickel for every time I see something glitch into another object, I'd have so much fucking money right now. God damn. How hard is it to keep one flat object from ch clipping into another? Jesus, this is a problem. <sighs> okay. All right. We've been going for three hours and I feel so lightheaded. <laughs> All right, I'm in here. Oh. Hey, we're going to turn into Alice? Bet. Oh, I need some salt. <laughs> yeah, right? This is weird. Through the looking glass? Excuse me. Oh, that photosensitivity warning. Oh, it cannot be undone. Man, go see a therapist. You are you are having a rough time, my guy. That's a neat effect. That's a less neat effect. <laughs> I'm taking a sip of my drink. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing about the flex tape can't fix. Oh no. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's a shirt. That's another shirt. Why are there so many fucking shirts just around this house? <laughs> I feel like, you know what this feels like? This makes me think of, um, the one manner, um, uh, the Winchester Mystery House. That's what this makes me think of. The one that where it's like the women, uh, her entire family died and they were the founders of the Winchester Rifles. And a psychic told her that, oh yeah, your whole family's going to die all around you and you're going to be the only survivor of the Winchester family. Um, and the reason why is because the ghosts of the people who died by the hands of your rifles, yeah, they're haunting you and they're trying to kill you. So you got to build this, <laughs> this mansion that has a bunch of twists and turns and stairs that go to nowhere and doors that go to nowhere and trust the good spirits that'll keep you safe. <laughs> That's what this feels like. I feel like I'm in the Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> I'll just hire an extra lawyer just in case. I don't... Would you make a great therapist? I don't know about that. I trust you. I trust you, but only vaguely. It's a dog. The only reason I'd go to the US, the mansion looks fun. Yeah, it... It does, but also it's like apparently insanely haunted, but who knows at this point. Fuck you. Oh, the dog. No. Uh, so I guess we know how the dog died. <laughs> I 
I think he set the dog on fire and burned the dog to death. Fucking asshole. See, like, I could, I could understand divorcing your wife. I could understand kind of like, like that, that I don't think makes you like an absolutely terrible person. I mean, a, d a good boy. <gasps> no! A cat is a horrible animal to pick for a child. I just bought us a dog. <laughs> don't, okay, if you have a baby, d don't get them a cat to play with. Get them a dog. Dogs are much more tolerable with children. Like, yeah, they could technically do more damage, but a cat is more likely to hurt your child than a dog is. Just because a cat has a much shorter fuse. Just because cats are tiny does not mean that your child is safe uh, from them. Cats have every ability to kill an actual human being. <laughs> like... Ah. Yeah. Yeah, well, shit. Ah, shit. Here we go again. You want this as well? I guess. This is it is very sad. Ugh, I'm stuck. Okay. I once great artists new painting laughed out of galleries. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes, the famed critic who was one of the first to appreciate the works of Blank, and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular su success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, as critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to be ju not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient as the Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Poor dude. Excuse me. A cat is more likely to build a laser in your living room for that one time you fed it 0 0.5 seconds late. <laughs> yeah, cats are vindictive. Now, I say having like six cats, and I love my cats. They're amazing. They're joys to have in my life. But I also have known almost every single one of these cats since they were kittens. And I've, I've raised them. A lot of them. Um, or I knew them from when they were less than a year old. Oh, my rib is out. Hold on. Get back in. Get back in. Please. Stop stabbing me. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> I went to go breathe in and then I felt like pain and I was like, Oh, no, not my rib. <laughs> You are undead. You have cats. Are you the cat lady from the... Yeah, I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like it. Mm. Oh my gosh, is that Pandora? You're one of the cats I raised. Oh my god, Ed Sekiel! Hi! Pandora getting a face full of ass right now. <laughs> She's staring at me with her little face. That one? Is that Pandora? They're sisters. They love each other. Oh. <laughs> Not Pandora crawling on top of Sekim as she's on your your shoulders. Oh god. This makes me want to redecorate my house. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. Anyway. Um.
Locked. Is this one gonna be locked too? Fucking hell. All right, well, I mean, can't say I didn't expect it. That was a damn good day, day, game to should revisit the cat. Like, yeah, you should. I I agree. I agree. Dude, what is up with all these? This is not. This is not comfortable. I don't like it. It makes my brain hurt. Like, look at that. I can't even tell fully what that is. Like, what the two paintings are supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, I thought there was a door there. Okay, well, how much you want to bet? It's going to be the same hallway. Oh. Oh. Hi, come here often. <laughs> Hi. Well, I mean, me too. Why is this relatable? Why is this, why is this relatable? I feel, I feel for this painting. You know, I just, the, the contours just, they really embody the two-sided emotional feelings that I'm feeling right now. Cause on the one hand, I feel so lightheaded that I, I feel like I swallowed a whole balloon's worth of helium. But on the other hand, I'm also sitting here like, hmm, I too sometimes feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind. Wishing I could start again. You know? Just discarded. And ugly. <laughs> I'm not usually that mean, but, well, no, I am a terrible person. Boy, you look like a goddamn real Picasso! I saw a picture of a cat, and this cat was really cute. But this cat looked like a walking Picasso painting. And it was a, it was a live cat, it was a video, well, it was a video of a cat. It was a living cat. But, like, how its face structure was, it was very clear it was born with a few defects. And that's okay. It happens. It's the circle of life. But I swear, this cat looked like looked like a Picasso painting, and I have no idea what to think about it. Although, I do wonder why Picasso painted, painted his paintings like that. Like, I don't know a lot about Picasso, but I've always wondered that question. Like, why did he go that route? Uh, is he? It makes me think of, like, face blindness, you know? Anyway. <laughs> boy, boy. <laughs> Get close. Bruh. The fuck? <laughs> this is incredible. This <laughs> look at how tiny it is. It's just the two faces overlaid on top of each other. There's nothing special about them. But it's just so stupid looking. <laughs> Oh, I love him. I would hang this up in my house. <laughs> Just because how fucking tiny it is. Oh, boy. Oh, yep. Saw that happen. Oh. Remember from the lovely folks at Tiny Desk Corporation. Ooh, and are all the paintings tiny now? Yo, real shit. Are all the paintings tiny? What are you doing? Are they chasing a bug? What bug? Is it a flying bug? Hmm. No, I knew I was gonna turn around and that the wall would do something stupid. I didn't really see it well. My brain clipped it out. Oh no. Huh. 
so if my wheelchair did that i'd be fucking pissed <laughs> Like, I'm gonna be real honest. If my wheel wheelchair started clipping into the back rooms, I'd be fucking infuriated. <laughs> oh, God, this would piss me off so much. <laughs> okay. Which door do I want to go in? I like these, this, this, these disoriented effect. Look back. The wall is gone. Turn around again. The room is upside down. Look up. There is no more ceiling. Yeah, that's that's how this game goes. It's definitely a trippy game. Which way do I go? Do I go portraits or wheelchair in the ground? This is a choice that will affect my ending. Or do I want to go none of the above? I think I've gone none of the above before, and I think I've gone portraits. I don't know which one that is! Gmod wheelchair? Alright. I'm back in here. Ah! Uh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> as soon as I saw this room, I was like, the fan's gonna fall. <laughs> I was like, there's gotta be one of these rooms, the fan falls. Well, here we are. Here we are. Now eat the fan. I turn it. <laughs> Mouthful mode fan. I am not a fan. <laughs> but what if you are a fan? Do you whiff, 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 whiff when you're too hot? I'm sure everyone in this chat is too hot. I'm gonna be honest. You guys need to, to become more ugly. You're too hot. Anyway, September 12th. Oh no. <laughs> She's been at it again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised after all. She knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like, I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus, does she really hate me that much? Or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. Dude, I think it's you, buddy. Am I? Did my life an end? <laughs> my life as an eldritch entity lie? Yeah, probably. I think I think you you're a fan, you know. But you could still be an eldritch entity. I I, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. Where is second? Where is she stanced up? Oh, yeah. oh, whoa, that's Penelope. Hello? <laughs> She's staring at you. Penelope. Oh, I'm trying to get her attention. She's fucking ignoring me. Do you mind turning on the light so it's not so dark in here? Because it's starting to get dark out suddenly. Like, it was so bright out just, like, five minutes ago, wasn't it? What happened? Ugh, big stretch. All right. Eh. What was that? What happened? I didn't even see it. I wasn't looking at the right place. I was looking at chat. Oh, 
it's lightened up a bit. Huh? There's a bookshelf. Where am I? I feel like I'm making like no progress. God damn it. These cabinets are... Well, they got caught on me. I'm about to revolt. This is pissing me off. <laughs> oh, look! The door is open! I would have never have guessed it. Let the progress come to you or get it with a fishing pole. I want, I want a fish. This game isn't good. You want to know why it doesn't have a fishing mechanic? <laughs> you hear that, Bloober team? Your game sucks because there is no fishing. I can't. Oh, whoa. 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 Hold on there. Hold on there. Is this what I get for criticizing your game? Fuck you. <laughs> Hold on. I was trying to open the door. Didn't even really find the knob and the door attacked me. I see how it is. Retaliation, right? Damn. Oh, I don't like this room. Not a very nice room. Yep. Knew that was coming. Cause this game's rude as fuck. Get yeah, turn that on. I don't even know where I'm at. Is this like the servants room? Oh. I went back to normal? Why? Why did I go back to normal? God, there's nothing in there! God. This is big as shit. I think it. You. I think I. Uh. The. Can you light the candle? Well, I did light the candles. I don't know what you tried to. Uh, Oh, he came out of the painting, went over here, and now went through that door. Okay. <sighs> We're in this room again. Unleash your inner beauty with the new Glamour Fusion Max. Okay, but that 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 looks pretty. I like those bottles. Uh, more rooms. More rooms on rooms on rooms. I'm starting to get a little bored here. 
I may not revisit this game because now I'm actually kind of not enjoying myself. I'm kind of really bored right now. Like outside of the handful of, of jump scares I've been getting, I'm not really enjoying myself all that much. And all I'm getting is like, I played Layers of Fear and survived and all I got was this lousy headache. <laughs> I got a record. Well, I want to check the room out first. I know what the puzzle is. I remember this puzzle, but I want to check the rest of the room out first. I don't know if it's because like I've I've played through this game for the most part before, and so that's why I'm kind of like, uh, or if it's because I just generally am not interested in this game. Um, yeah, it's slow burn. And like, here's the thing. I liked it when I first played it. And now I think I'm just kind of like bored about it, you know? Um, oh wait, hold on. God, this is so difficult. Okay. There we go. I think I went the wrong way. Oh no, I went the right way. Mmm. Yummy. Other way. Oh wait, I need this. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. Ugh. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein sucked on it until blood filled my mouth then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming the taste of copper haunted me the entire night why didn't I think of a syringe why didn't I think of a syringe I don't know buddy and then look it still doesn't have liquid physics Dude, that would have been so fun to, like, have as a physics, though. Like, fuck. Um. So, the thing about the, the blood thing, that I'm actually not as, like, a perturbed by as I was about the, like, flayed flesh. And the reason why is because of the fact that, um... Blood art is a thing, and it's actually really beautiful. It, I actually really like blood art. If you don't know what that is, it's when an artist uses blood as their um, artistic medium. And it's actually, like, really, really beautiful. So I have to like reverse it, don't I? In order to get out of here? Because I can't escape as is, right? So I have to like reverse it. Hmm. Yeah, physics are just a social construct. They don't exist. Oh, 
Come on. I know this is how you reverse it. And why isn't it doing the thing? Am I supposed to find something else? Oh, I didn't even know I could zoom in. Oh, wait. It's right there. There we go. Now it should work. Yay! Okay. That was pretty nice. Did y'all enjoy that puzzle? I didn't. All right, we are back here now. Hell yeah. Okay. Paint. Oh, I see. Damn, IKEA building be looking different, right? Okay, so we are now two in. Look at that. All right. So I think I'm going to call it here. I was going to do three chapters, but like, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> um, this game has made me dizzy. Uh, I am not fully enjoying myself, but I don't know if it's because I've played through these first three chapters or if it's because I genuinely no longer enjoy this style of game. I did when I first played it, and I don't know if that's the same anymore. I think maybe my tastes for horror have just evolved. Um, since then, I think this game definitely relies very heavily on the jump scares, and I think that's kind of why I'm kind of iffy about it. I don't know, because, like, I love the aesthetics of games like Inscription and stuff, but this one I'm not so sure about. I don't know. So I'll have to think about if I want to play this next week. I will contemplate, but... Um... If you want to play this game, I recommend playing it for yourself if you haven't yet. Um, even if I might not like it, you probably will. Um, if you do get it, though, I recommend getting it in a pack with Observer, which is a stellar game. Absolutely amazing. I love Observer. Um, but we will see, because I do also... I am curious about the second game, so I will think about it. But uh, with all that being said, I'm going to rate out to somebody. I think I'll send you guys over to Rick Crow because he's vibing. Um, but with all that being said, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream today. Sorry that we decided to end a little early. I just, I'm not feeling it, but um, yeah. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. I don't know for what. I'll be posting that schedule tonight, but Thank you guys so much for coming, and I'll uh, see you guys next time, okay? Sun up, ding.